Kaya coming at you. I wanted to make a video today on how to trim your natural hair, um, trim the ends. What I have done is I have actually washed and deep conditioned my hair really, really well. I actually left my conditioner on the whole night. Um, what I did was I washed and deep conditioned it the day before like a few days before and yesterday I actually flat ironed my hair um y'all natural hair my natural hair don't stay flat ironed for that long I um, did it like late last night once the air hit it and humidity hit it it just popped back up but the good thing is I never did get the end straight anyway um because I wanted to still wear afro but I wanted to get it straight enough that I could be able to see what I'm working with because to me when you trim it your ends when it's natural you have to be able to see what you're working with there's no way you can wear afro and try to trim your ends that way you have to either straighten your hair uh, with a flat iron blow dryer however you do it um, or you can also do it while you maybe have like some two strand twists you can be able to see how your ends look raggedy but um, anyway I wanted to show you guys how to do it um, what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to section off my hair you always want to section off your hair because that makes it a lot easier to work with as well as um, you can make sure that you doing everything properly um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go ahead and section my bangs off. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give it a good little... You can kind of do it the way you do it when you're actually doing your hair, um, when you're curling iron it, putting it in the curling iron, do section by section. That's the way I actually trim my ends. Um, and you don't have to like take every bit off. Say for instance, if your hair is breaking, just try to take as much as less as possible and just do it gradually. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just take a look at it and then just clip the ends that needs to be clipped. And I'm just going to keep on continuing throughout the whole hair. And again, what you do is you make sure you do section by section. You never want to take a big, huge section because that's just not the proper thing to do. And then you just look at your own ends, see which ones look the worst and just clip it off. And again, like I said, you don't have to do everything at one time because I know some people hair breaking really, really bad. So you don't want to just cut it all in one while just do it gradually. And the more you do it, the more better your ends are going to feel also. Because sometimes when you don't do it, your ends feel real dry and brittle and all that stuff. So, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other side. And I mean, it's a pretty easy process. When you get to the back, you just got to be very careful because you can mess up your back. But just um, do exactly what you're doing now. Just find that little piece that needs to be cut and just clip it off. And you'll be so glad you did because you'll be so amazed like when you need your ends trimmed. The way that your hair feel, is, it just feel real dry and stuff. But after you do cut the ends, it's like it just lay better and everything. And if it's easier for you, you can also just kind of grab the tip at the end and just kind of give it a good little cut also. That's easier for you. Because sometimes things are easier for other people. Just keep on going. It's pretty easy to do too. I know I had a few people, like, when I go to beauty shops and stuff, they used to always just give you, like, a haircut. And I'd be like, that's not what I want. I want my ends trimmed. So that's why I really start just pretty much doing my own hair. Because it's like, you know, when you do your own hair, it's actually going to be done right. And a lot of people always ask me, how do I do my own hair? But the more you do it, the better you get. Because I wasn't always good. Practice make perfect. So, and then you just... Cut the little end. And what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to come back at you when I get closer to Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you how to be able to um, trim the back of your hair. What you're going to do, what I usually do is I actually, like I said, make sure you put it in sections. And I kind of flip it up so I can be able to see it. And I always make sure I do it in like a mirror. And I just cut the little raggedy edges. So, same way you would do the rest of the hair. You know what? I'm actually left-handed. I'm going to have to try to find and see if they got some left-handed scissors. Because um, it seems like all the scissors are actually for right-handed people. So sometimes it's like it get a little difficult. But anyway, make sure you comb out the ends too before you trim it to make sure that, um, you know, sometimes like natural hair seems like it kind of draws up. So you want to make sure you're actually able to see all the ends. And then what you do is just go ahead and do the same thing. Just cut the little straggly ends off. Okay. 
And the back really not hard to do, to be honest with you, as long as you're just paying attention to what you're doing. Um, the back is actually a little bit more simpler because you're able to see it more. Because what you're going to do, you're going to pull it up like this. And again, you're going to just look for all the little raggedy edges. And remember, you're basically going to cut um, as least as possible. And you're going to be doing it gradually. So if you're making sure you trim your ends every four weeks, um, eventually all that dead hair is going to, you know, you're going to be able to just cut it right off. You don't have to do everything drastically like right then and there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this up to just get it out of my way so I can be able to get to the back more. And like I said, you guys, make sure you always section off the hair because anytime you do a natural hair, the more you section it off, the better and the easier it is because you can't get overwhelmed if you just got all this hair in your face and it's hard to comb and you can just get overwhelmed and that's when you start messing up your ends and all that stuff. So, And again, you're just going to lift it up. Just hold your hand just like this and give it a good lift at the end so you can be able to see um, what ends need to be cut. And that's pretty much how I do, um, even when I do my flat iron, I just do section by section. Um, and I'm really, not really, really good with the flat iron, so I know I can pretty much get it more straight. But I don't like my hair like real, real dead straight. If I wanted to be real dead straight, I would get a perm <laughs> or um, I would actually wear some weave because I really don't like the my hair to be like dead straight because it's just so limp and there's nothing to do with it. So I really hate when my hair, I used to hate when my hair was permed and it was like that. So I really enjoy my hair being more on the um, kinkier side, afro type texture. I like that texture. And again, like I said, if I ever do want it to be straight, I just go get some weave or I just um, go to the Dominicans and get like a, a blowout because those look good too. So you guys, I think you pretty much got the hang of it. Um, it's just make sure that you always, when you're um, trimming your ends, when you have natural hair, make sure you either flat ironed it or put it in some twists. Never just try to trim your ends when you got like an afro because you won't be able to get your true ends and you don't want to be cutting hair that don't need to be cut. Um, I say do this probably like every four weeks. If you want to do it more, that's up to you. If you want to do it less, that's up to you. I know people that don't even trim their ends when their hair grows. So whatever you feel is best for you. Um, you make sure you do that. Everybody take care. Be blessed. And I'll chat with you guys later. If you haven't, if you will, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye, you guys.